So today I woke up to see a tweet that said, Seattle mayor offers Trump supporters huge win with takedown of Lenin statue. And then there was this video. Oh, Marxism has got to go. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Marxism has got to go. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Tear it down. Tear it down. Tear it down. Tear it down. Now don't get me wrong. Lenin is trash. His murderous ideology killed millions of people, and I probably wouldn't want his big bronze face looking at me either. But here's the thing. Social justice warriors feel the exact same way about Robert E. Lee as these Trump supporters feel about Lenin. They feel the same way about Civil War statues like Old Joe or about Stonewall Jackson and about all the rest of these figures that are now being removed all across America. Granted, I think the Confederate statues are a hell of a lot more relevant to American history than Lenin, but the practice of tearing down figures of history you don't like is a dangerous idea, whether it be the statue of a communist or the statue of a racist, whether you're doing it as a Trump supporter or as a social justice warrior. People are laughing at him, but Trump had a point when he said, who's next? Washington? Jefferson? It looks like the government has already started to give in to the hysterical crowds of people demanding the takedown of a monument too triggering for their fragile sensibilities. So where do you think this will end? We take down Confederate statues for glorifying racist slave owners one day, and the next day we could easily do the same to the founding fathers. George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and Patrick Henry were all slave owners. So if you think removal of their statues couldn't possibly happen, then you haven't been paying attention. Even our heroes of history are far from perfect. In acts of war, many, many innocents were killed by the victors that we celebrate today. Look at Winston Churchill. I was happy to get a picture with his statue in London, but let's say people demand it be taken down one day due to the Dresden bombings. You better take down any statues of Gandhi while you're at it, because he was a huge racist. Oh wait, I just discovered while I was editing this that they're actually already petitioning for that to happen. You can find anything wrong with people whose art we show today, whose architecture still stands, or whose monuments are in our parks. But if we go down this path, it's only going to lead to madness. Public monuments of historical figures are not supposed to be idols that we celebrate and worship for their perfection. They're meant to capture moments in history that keep us connected to the realities of our past. That means the good and the bad, the praiseworthy and the condemnable. I mean, when did we as a society decide we just want to remember the good things about our past? We all know that is a bad idea. If you forget the pain you felt when you touched that hot red stovetop, you'll burn your hand over and over again. When you walk in a park decked with plaques that commemorate battles and statues that herald leaders, you think about the soldiers who died for your ability to exist generations later, and it puts your life into perspective as you zoom out to see the bigger picture of things and try to make sense of it all. Get rid of that, and it's just a park. One devoid of history, waiting for you to fill it with new mistakes and bloodshed. Destroy history, and you'll lose your sense of it. Lose your sense of history, and you'll blindly repeat it.